Hey, what's going on guys? What I have for you guys today, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a custom job on uh, one of my buddy's trucks, bumper lips. Um, he just purchased this bumper from uh, uh, Street Concepts One on Instagram. I don't know, if, well, they're not on Instagram, they're on Instagram. I'll put their link down below if you guys wanna check out all the custom fiberglass stuff that they do for the trucks. Um, let me show it to you guys. The all right guys, so this is the bumper. It's on a, I don't recall what year it is, but it's on the Sierra single cab. Uh, I'll put his link down for his Instagram down below. That way you guys can see what it looked like. He just, what it looks like on the truck. He just put together this makeshift lip because he wanted, uh, you know, obviously the, the that gap to be sealed. So he put together a few different things. This, you know, very, very thin sheet metal. Looks like it's like gutter material almost. Um... And then this is, uh, I think, lower clip from Silverado, I believe. But it's upside down. So he just screwed it in place to give it that nice, I don't know, like a like a drift style truck look. But anyways, the case is, you know, he came to me to see if I could uh, make something for him out of steel that would imitate sim something sim similar to this. And he's not too picky on how it's going to come out. He just wants it to you know be a single piece and you know look as good as possible so he also provided some um uh, i believe this is 18 gauge sheet metal um so what i think i'm going to be doing is cutting a strip about three inches uh two and a half to three inches wide just like this and then adding the other lip on the bottom curving it out and then filling in the corners uh, custom molding the pieces so they fit properly and then welding everything shut welding everything shut and then grinding everything down smooth so it looks like it's one bumper uh, I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna how I'm gonna do it to to curves it might be more pointy than this and he said he was fine with that so we're just gonna try it and get it as best we can um, one of the things that's gonna be a little bit harder is the, the top part but to get the top part honestly in one hit we would need a lot more material than this and this is all he has so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making this top lip in sections probably about five or six sections and then um, weld them in place basically in a piece the whole thing together with nothing but tacks and once I'm happy with the with the end result I'm gonna go ahead and and weld everything sealed and grind it down smooth so let's start on a uh, first thing i'm going to be doing is removing this piece i'm not going to do a full full uh diy video on this because it is super hot out right now and i honestly don't feel like messing with this right now but i already told him that it would be done today or tomorrow so i'm going to force myself to get out there and, and bust it out so uh i'm just going to kind of skip a lot of things i just want you guys to see more or less the end result and something that could be done on a piece like this all right guys so i took the plasma i cut this down as you guys can see i did some relief cuts through the center this is my three inch piece up here this is two and uh two and a quarter and i did that so where when we curve this piece along the bumper this i can fold it out and he could we could determine what what lip angle we want so the owner is here now and he's gonna we're gonna you know kind of sit there and play with it a little bit until we get the right angle once we have that right angle we're gonna tack a few places for extra strength while it's already bent so it stays in shape and then we're gonna figure out how to um, kind of like I guess shape some pieces in the in the or shape some angle some flat bar in the shape to seal the little areas you'll see what I mean when I get to it uh, the most the harder part I think is gonna be in back here in the corners because this has a ultimately like a 90 degree curve somewhat because it goes from the front to the sides of the truck so it'll probably have like maybe two or three relief cuts and we're gonna have to figure out how to properly seal those and at the same time keep that curve so um i'm not worried too much about the top because it, like i said i have more than enough space of material right here to make the um to weld you know the supporting piece and then just the end caps so let's get to it all right guys so we got the first part on the of the of the top piece of the lip 
I did a couple relief cuts and I folded them in. I got a little bit of extra cut on that one, but it's fine. It'll weld in. So this is what I'm going to be doing for the for the re uh, rest of the sides, here and here. Take a little bit longer in this corner just to make sure it's a nice curve. But ultimately, I'll weld all of these pieces together to form one solid piece. Once this is fully welded, then I get to add the other piece I cut along the side of here at a 90 degree angle. And then after that, we figure out the angle that we want for the lip. So let me get to that and I'll tune you guys back in. All right, guys, so we got the full top piece done. As you can see, it's in different sections. And we did that mostly because we only had 12 inches of material. Like I mentioned earlier, if you had maybe about a foot and a half just for the top, you could do it in one single piece just by marking it and cutting it. But it saves you a little bit of money if you don't if you don't uh, want to get a big, big, big sheet because they are pretty expensive. So uh, you can still get around it by doing something like this. So we already uh, cut along the outside. We want the, the, the lip to sit out a little bit, so that's why it's a little bit over. Or if not, we would have made this like probably eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch further in. But um, it's all done, it's all welded. Our next step is adding the, the three inches and in the, well technically the five inch piece and then folding the, the lip out. So let me get to that. All right guys, so we have already tacked the whole front in place. Now we just gotta uh, make sure we seal all those gaps. So this is what I was talking about earlier. That I left, I did the relief cut through there, that way we could do this. Fold that out and get the lip that we want. If you guys can see, um, you know, he says that, that where it's at is good. So now all I gotta do is uh, weld all of these little areas shut um, finish covering this up and then grind it smooth and then at the same time when we done when we're done with the welds on the outside grind all of that smooth too all right guys so it's the next day um, yesterday I was mostly trying to um, shape this thing out um, I started it super late because it was so hot out here um, so I'm gonna try to get to it this morning because I got to try to get it out tonight or today at least so let me put it down so I can show you guys how it looks that's roughly the shape once we sand all of that down we'll be able to shape it a little bit better once everything's flat <clears throat> grind out the edges so you don't see those little points and um, <clears throat> it'll look a lot cleaner one thing that uh i was telling richie is <clears throat> there's a lot of things that i had to fix that i wasn't um you know intending on but i had to fill out this little gap right here because this was too much of a gap even though it's the same shape as that side the same for this i had to add another piece right here because the curvature wasn't adding up to the bumper now the reason for that <clears throat> is because since these are fiberglass they don't really have specific molds that they use they do have some rough molds i've seen i've seen how they mold certain certain bumpers but let me show you guys what i mean on this one on this side which would be the truck's right side the drop between between this front piece and this is roughly say three quarters of an inch on this side the drop is almost an inch maybe a little bit more than an inch that's a big difference um, when you're molding something like this that's supposed to you know be perfectly even all the way across so what's gonna happen with that is that you're gonna see a little bit more if you're looking at it down you know when the, it's on the truck you're looking at it down this way um, you'll see a, more of the of the of the lip I guess in this little corner right here than on that uh, other side Anyways, this is the original plastic ones for like the, I'm, I want to say like a 88 to 98 maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But that's upside down. But it goes on the truck like this. That's how it goes. 
bolts up with all these bolts right here against the top of the, the bottom of the bumper but he liked it he liked it um like that because it does look pretty sporty I don't know how he got that idea but that looks pretty pretty badass once it's on the bumper it makes it look like a drift style bumper and I like it so that's what we decided to imitate but how to make it out of all steel so that he wouldn't use that laminate back there and this piece so let me I'm gonna start welding all of this shut all right guys so I've only into this maybe around I want to say five five six hours um, I started really late like I said last night but let me show you guys where I'm at right now uh, I already started shaving off this top so it looks clean obviously it looks like crap right now because of the, the polished steel and then the rusty steel and you know but it, it will get cleaned up um, on the front so you guys can see I got a little bit of a corner going because of the center of the of the truck um, I got to grind all of this down smooth I've already kind of smoothed out all these corners and um, once they're all welded in place I can come in here with the hammer and kind of from the back side smash the centers out a little bit so it makes a better curve or the other straight piece straight piece you kind of curve it out a lot nicer or all I'm gonna do next is just cover up all of these areas you put a piece behind it like that and then you weld it shut and then you seal all of that with with weld and you by the time you're done grinding you literally this is what you get so I mean it's it yes it, it kind of it's a little bit of a, of a of a process but you know when you don't have all the right tools to bend a piece of steel like this and you're doing this in your garage or in your backyard like I am uh, and you got to find ways around stuff that's that's the easiest way to do it you could I could sit there and mold this piece by folding it to the center you know cutting it perfectly and then putting it dead on there and then welding it in place but that would take a lot longer to do especially since I'm gonna have like three pieces on each side so easiest way just something back that let me show you how it looks this is something of the truck that you will never see see that's how it'll come out at the end but what you actually see is that so not to worry I would do that no problem um, so let's get to that and I'll tune you guys back in in a minute all right guys so we are nearing the end pretty much the whole thing is welded I just got to grind that main seam through the center it's gonna take a little bit of time but the lift is done that's how it looks it jump a lot of the areas jump out of you right now because they're grinded down shiny so once everything's painted it'll level off and you, it'll look like a solid you know continuous piece all right guys so my work here is done the lip is completely finished we uh, notched off this corner right here it took a long time to grind that seat that uh, that weld in the center but overall it came out really good he's gonna go ahead and take it now and uh, do a little bit more sanding he's gonna want to he wants to hit it with 80 grit uh, do like a really rough uh, texture so he could paint it it's gonna be black so um, it'll hide a lot of the you know, imperfections from here you could do a few different things you could either you know add a little bit of bondo to the whole thing just to kind of get some of the little imperfections from the grind marks uh, um, to remove them or you know maybe a couple of, uh, of passes with filler primer and then a sealer uh, and ultimately uh, you know a couple coats of that and then paint and it'll hide a lot of like the little tiny uh, scratch marks and and uh, weld holes um, so yeah I think it ultimately came out really really good again remember this was only from a piece of uh, I want to say maybe it was like six feet or eight or seven maybe it was an eight footer I think I think it was an eight foot by 12 piece of 10 18 gauge and we actually didn't use it all we end up there's still about four inches of that so we only ended up using six inches uh th sorry eight inches um i think it came out looking great i went in there and kind of hammered some of the of the little uh steel pieces to give it a little bit more of a curve 
I, I like how it looks right now because it's kind of it's not perfectly round but if you really wanted to you can sit there and hammer away for you know an hour trying to get everything perfectly uh, round and even then you might get this part mismatched to that side so we're gonna leave it alone um, and yeah uh, I'll finish this video off hopefully with the with the piece already the bumper already on the truck all right guys so we are done the lip is installed we just painted it on there with uh, with gloss black just so that it wouldn't get rusted he does have uh, he has to paint the whole truck and that probably match that I'm not sure he might even change the different color that's how it looks though but um it is done that is the I believe that it's a new version of the uh, SS bumper that Street Concept One has has came up with. I'm thinking of getting that same bumper for my for my Silverado. Um, I'm gonna hit them up and see what they can do on that. Um, but yeah, that's what it was. I mean, it it took me the weekend, both days, partial days here and there because of the heat. But it is installed. It is done. And for something that requires very little material you know i think it come out look pretty pretty good um that concludes the video guys i hope you guys like the whole diy process um don't forget to like and subscribe i'll be having a lot more videos coming up here soon um and i'm gonna go into the street truck scene a little bit more in, in depth for my channel uh since i'm gonna be dropping my truck here pretty soon also so don't forget to like and subscribe again guys and uh see you guys in the next video